Hello everyone, welcome back to Obsessive Preparazi. I got this neat little air fryer in the mail from a company called Wista, W-E-E-S-T-A. They asked me to do a review on their air fryer. It's not just an air fryer, air fryer, toaster, bakes, roasts, it actually does a lot and uh, on reviews i don't do a lot of them i only do reviews that i think my subscribers would be interested in i mean i've got people that have asked me to do cbd oil reviews you name it they're sending it to me i won't do just random reviews but i think something like this you might be interested in it's a neat little unit it is contained you've seen a lot of air fryers out there most of them are those well i did a review on one that had a well and uh, you know a lot of reviewers do chicken wings things like that I didn't want to just do a chicken wing review I wanted to do a thorough review before I even told you about this so I went ahead pulled it out of the box yesterday I went ahead and turned it on at 450 degrees for about 15 20 minutes that way I would bake off anything that was in the oven be it oils anything like that I got went ahead and got it set up and I cooked with with it now getting to the basics of this very simple very easy well, first of all when I opened up the box it's very explanatory there's not a whole lot in the instructions as far as what you need to know because there's not a whole lot that is confusing now in the instructions here the manual itself like I said is Wista here there's not a whole lot as far as cooking instructions. It tells you safeguards, warranty card here, and uh, pretty much easy, easy. If you can't use this, you're not gonna be able to use anything because it's so simple. And so inside, it comes with a little drip pan that comes in handy that's down here. It's not a drip pan, it's kind of like a crumb pan. Let's see if I can get to it here. It's a very bottom. It's kind of similar to what a toaster would have to catch the crumbs. Inside, we have the burner unit down here. It comes with a wire rack, the instructions, a nice little handle here. Flip it on like this, and that takes it out of your oven. Real nice little handle here. You've got your roasting pan which is a decent size. And if you keep paying attention, you'll see some of the things that I cook. Yesterday when I cooked my pork loin, I went ahead and lined this with tin foil. To me, that's the easiest way. I use a lot of tin foil. It's easy cleanup, just get rid of it. But this pan is a real nice, not flimsy at all, decent pan. The size is amazing. And so if you want to throw it in the dishwasher, if you need to scrub it, if you're not using tin foil, you're not going to have any issues getting anything off of it. It's got a nice little surface to it. Also in the pan here or in the oven is a wire rack. We've got a wire rack for baking. Decent size again. The whole unit really is a nice size unit. The heating coil is down here and there are also some heating coils up here. And the whole unit itself is really, really easy to use. The whole thing is metal. Yesterday when I used it, I did the pork loin, I sat it on top here and uh, just kept warm while I was cooking my potatoes. It has the temperature gauge here, it goes from give or take 100 degrees to 450 degrees, simple, easy, turn dial. You have your different functions of cooking cooking. So you have the bake, you have the, let's see, broil, air roast, toast, and air fry. Now I used it in several different ways. And uh, in the video, if you keep watching, you'll see some of the things like I had mentioned that I made. It also has a timer, a 60 minute timer. You're not going to need more than 60 minute timer on this. Um, when it cooks, what is really nice, let me get this all back inside here for you to show you how easy it is. Now when it cooks, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in just to show you. It has a light. And what I like about that is it's very visible so you can see what is cooking inside. I really like that because on the well kind of ones that you use, you have to pull the pan out to see what is going on. You heard the timer, a nice timer. The whole unit again is metal, it's decent. Now let's talk about 
the different things that I cooked. So the food turned out amazing. I did this pork loin here. It is so easy to use. Now, if you've never tried pork loins that have the seasonings already in them, this one was a peppered pork tenderloin. So simple and easy. Buy your own, put a pork loin on, season it. I put the tin foil in my roasting pan. I went ahead and put it in the oven 450 degrees and I didn't use the air fry I used the air roast 450 degrees I cooked it give or take 25 minutes I'm telling you what after about the half of the time I went ahead and flipped it over I went ahead and took it out of the oven wrapped it with the tin foil sat it on top of my oven here so it would sit for a while while i was cooking my potatoes now i use just a simple easy box potato sour cream and chive wonderful potato if you want to make your own i'm not getting into recipes here i'm just telling you simple easy meals to make follow the direction on the box, put my casserole dish inside. I put it on the bake mode. Originally I did it at 350 degrees. I ended up amping it up to the 450 degrees. I baked that off. Now the only thing that I did different is I went ahead and broiled it at the top for about four minutes. So I would get a nice brown coat on the top of it. I pulled that out of the oven. They turned out excellent. The next thing I decided to do in my roasting pan, again, with tin foil, I used frozen green beans. I let them thaw out a little bit, olive oil, butter. I love Tony's seasoning, wonderful seasoning, garlic salt, garlic. I love my garlic, so I use a little bit of everything. I threw those into this oven. I went ahead and air fried those. No more than eight minutes. They come out wonderful. After the beans were done, I went ahead, sliced my pork loin. You see up here the picture I plated it. I have nothing but positives to say about this air fryer. Now this air fryer on Amazon, about $149. You may be able to get a deal on it this Black Friday. I don't know for sure. I'm just saying I would look. I'll leave the description down below, the link to the Amazon. Now, I do not have an Amazon store. I got rid of that years ago. I do not make anything off of these videos from Amazon. This was sent to me for free to do the review, and I thank Wista for letting me give you this review. But I honestly believe that if you don't have an oven that can do everything, you're looking for an air fryer, check this Wista air fryer out. There's a lot of them out there. Yes, I know. Cuisinart makes them. There's different companies. But for a decent price, a decent, and I'm saying decent air fryer that really does everything, broiling, roasting, toasting, air fryer, this is one that I would highly suggest. I hope you enjoy this video. If you did, please subscribe. If you want to be notified for future videos, ring the bell. Have a blessed day.